Hi, my name's Adrian, and today I'm going to look at Power Director 12's Theme Designer. We've opened up Power Director 12, and we want to click onto the plugin symbol. We open up our Theme Designer, and we're taken to the Add Theme template. And here we have a series of templates. They can be grouped by either the theme template themselves or the sequence type, opening, middle or closing. Let's leave it at the default theme template. Each one of these templates has a series of sequences within them. Let's look at floating frames. Here we have an opening, a middle one, two, three and a closing sequence. The blue circle indicates the number of images or videos that appear in each of these sequences. So the opening sequence will have three. The middle one has six. The middle two has four. Let's choose another one and look at the photo album theme full screen. In this case our opening sequence has four. Our middle three sequence has five. We need to choose one of those as a preset sequence for our theme. I'm going to choose the non-full frame photo frame and I can select the full sequence of all of them by clicking the highlight box. I can deselect any one of these sequences if I don't want it to appear just by unclicking it. I'm going to leave them all in. Let's press OK to load it into the main interface and here we have a blank theme sequence. And it's worth looking at this without having any content in it to start with. Firstly we can see we are starting at the opening sequence which is highlighted and it has two possibilities. The first one can either have an image or a video signified by the image icon or the video icon. The second one can only have an image and you can see that in this case it is possible to edit some titles and we'll see that in a moment. You can also in certain situations edit a background or add transitions between sequences. Whatever is preset within the program becomes operational if it is allowed. If it's not allowed then as in this case we can't change a background. It's also worth noting that we have a choice of background music. There are defaults that are loaded as part of the theme templates but we can import our own music or we can have no music. We can also do some basic editing on our music to have fade in, fade outs and a little bit of trimming. Okay that gives us a quick look around the main screen. Now we have to populate it with our own images or video. Now that we've seen what the interface looks like, let's do a real project. I've loaded up the PowerDirector 12 media library with images and video. I'm going to call up Theme Designer. I'm going to open up the photo album theme. Press OK. The interface is loaded. I could choose to auto populate the whole thing, but I prefer to do it one by one. Now we can see that I need three images and one video or an image for this one. Let's choose some images and put them in. Let's also choose some video. I'll have a look at this one. This one's too short. We have a preset of 15.616 seconds. So I have to choose a longer one. And I can trim it or mute it. Let's move on to the next section. I can continue from the previous sequence if I want, which I'll leave in, and then I need another still image, and another still image. I can have another video. I'm going to click to zoom in. I'm going to mute it, and we'll go back and have another image. And now I'm going to continue with filling in the rest of the sequences. Now I've completed filling in all my sequences, but I would really like a different opening sequence. And Theme Designer allows us to choose one. I'm going to choose the first one from the new photo frames. 
and I'm going to insert it and you'll see with the bar, the blue bar, I can move it to differing positions. I'm going to move it to the front. I'm going to change the text on my title. I can now populate it in the first one. And there's my sequence complete. So I need to press OK and it will be applied to the timeline. And this gives us our sequence as we have designed it and as we can play it is capable of being edited the same way as any other video clip. And that's Theme Designer. Thank you for watching.